the dormant realms as well as implants have been out for a while now and I will admit that I haven't been playing the dormant realms that often mostly because I was busy doing other things in the game but today I want to show you how the higher difficulty levels look and I also uh, plan to obtain the barrage implant now I will go with the before the abyss dormant realm and as you can see I already unlocked basically uh, all levels with the help of my friends and of course you can obtain the well you can obtain basically all uh, implants that are stated here the implant that I'm going after is the barrage implant for the Macarial basically that's the implant that I am mostly interested in now at first I wasn't really aware that uh, you can get the implants you can get the green and uh, blue one basically the standard implants up to level 15 and if you're lucky you can also uh, get the higher level ones but I have the I have the standard one will be soon level 15 now I will be flying the apocalypse striker not with this build this build is for something else but I will fly this ship with a modified build specifically made for the dormant realm and so far uh, I can tell you that it wasn't really that difficult as I have expected it to be I expected it to be a little bit you know uh, on the uh, I expected it to be a lot more difficult but if you have the right tactic then it really is not a big problem now that's uh, about the about this dormant realm that I'll be running right now so uh, let's start with difficulty 8 and we will slowly uh, increase the difficulties as uh, we clear them one by one undocking okay let's jump in now we have uh, three apocalypse strikers and we have one nightmare the nightmare is there to to use the shield field bubble now at first I thought that I spawned outside of the bubble but later on I was told that it is just a visual glitch We're being the oops, nightmare rambled. bubble should be around nine kilometers but visually as you can see, uh, my ship did appear like I am outside of the bubble. Now, the tactic that I was told works. Uh, basically, you ignore the sleepers and you go after the towers. You shoot the towers until 50% hole and then you focus fire on another tower. And when all of the towers are in 50% hole then you quickly eliminate them one by one now this is a very smart tactic uh, that at first I thought that uh, it would not work back when I played this for the first time attack. I really had no idea what I was doing and when we cleared this for the first time it was a very very close and a very clumsy clear Basically, uh, we had no idea what we were doing at the time. That was with my corp. It was fun, it was very fun, but at the same time, it was also we're very risky attack. because we almost, we almost got killed for the last tower. Now, I'm pretty sure that this might have been changed a little bit because I don't really remember uh, this mission we're under looked attack. like this. I feel like the towers are a little bit closer, maybe it, it's just uh, me forgetting stuff, but I believe that the towers we're were a little bit more further away uh, when I play this for the first time. Or perhaps uh, I'm just imagining things, who knows. But the first two towers, the first uh, three towers are in 50% hole, and now uh, we are shooting at the the tower number six 
not, not really sure how many towers we have. Basically, uh, these are the closest towers. We're under and attack. So far, this seems to be working really nice, really well. We're being warp scrambled. There is a lot of there is a lot of sleepers over here. We're under no, attack. I'm definitely looking forward for the for the different modes for different ship classes and different We're ship under types. Attack. Basically, I would like to use my cruisers for this. But for now, this will definitely uh, do it because it's actually really fun. We're under attack. The shield is slowly going down, but eventually we have eliminated all towers and we have completed this dormant uh, realm. Docking well, request this wasn't, accepted. This wasn't that bad. Three minutes and forty-two seconds. And this was, uh, I think, my first clear for the higher level dormant sites. So far I cleared, I think, only level 1 or 2 on most of them. Haven't really played the higher difficulty ones. Mostly because I was busy doing other things and... Undocking. And I'm not really someone who is doing a lot of PvE in this game. I am mostly blowing up ships. Well, player ships to be more accurate. Now, uh, for some reason, the game loves to spawn my ship at the edge of the nightmare bubble. And this will be uh, basically a very common thing throughout, We're throughout under this attack. video. This is difficulty 9, I believe. So, should be a little bit more difficult, but the tactic remains the same. The Nightmare Bubble and the Nightmare Tank should hold really well. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six towers. Okay, let me launch all of them. Now, basically, I'm the only We're Apocalypse that scrambled. is moving. That's because I wasn't really sure if the if the bubble effect We're is just a attack. graphical glitch. Would be hilarious if I got yeeted right at the edge of the bubble. Which, you know, can happen really easily here. The sleepers are definitely no joke when it comes to the DPS output. Although here we are basically ignoring the sleepers and looks like tower number two got almost killed. Well, have to be careful not to do that before it's time. We're under attack. We're under attack. Especially the implant on the apocalypse. I mean the laser implant, my apologies, was uh, reading something off, off screen here and I got a little bit distracted. Now someone asked me what's like the, the best implant. I don't really think that there is a best implant. Every implant has, you know, uh, its own thing. For example, Barrage is for PvP, the drone bombs are also for PvP. The laser implants can be used for PvP, but they have sustained We're DPS, can attack. also be used for missions. And the railgun implants can also be used for PvP and at the same time can also be used for missions because they also have pretty nice We're sustained DPS. And I still say that they have to be nerfed, they need to be nerfed because they are still overpowered, but in the couple of the next attack. couple months basically by the time uh, implants become very common the problem will not be that noticeable but when we have barrage macarios everywhere yeah attack. that's going to be a massive massive problem so uh, hopefully they will
will be reworked we or nerfed attack. until then. Now I apologize if you notice some frame drops. Basically, uh, my my little phone here is turning Docking request a accepted. A nuclear reactor in terms of heat output. The dormant realm is really, really hard on the hardware, and in my case, I don't have the 30 FPS cap like a normal, like a normal device on this game. My frame rates is unlimited for some reason, and that's been the case with this exact phone for I don't know for a year now. Undocking. And players ask me how did I unlock the frame rate? I honestly have no idea. I still use the default operating system on this device. I haven't upgraded the software, basically out of the box Android version. I thought about you know using a custom ROM, but I kind of gave up on that. We're under attack. Basically until until I get tired of this operating system, attack. I guess, then I will change the custom ROM, but perhaps I will lose the unlimited frame rate that I have. It's nice to have a good frame rate, but at the same time, not really nice when it's summer and when the, when the phone starts heating up and, of course, throttling. But I'll probably find a solution to that at one point. Not really that noticeable at the moment, but in Dormant Realm it can be quite the problem. Okay, now this is difficulty, I think the maximum difficulty, level 10. We're under attack. did not know uh, what to expect uh, basically uh, i know i trust my team i trust the i trust basically i trust my friends a lot We're under they told attack. me not to worry and i didn't really worry i was just trying not to make a lot of mistakes because you know one mistake one little mistake and i think we can easily lose our ships here So that was the only uh, thing that I was thinking We're about. Under attack. But besides that, so far everything is going smoothly. The tactic remains the same basically shoot down the shoot the towers until 50% hull and then when all of them are at 50% hull you go and shoot all of them down very quickly of course because you don't want to get shot by 80 sleepers that's definitely not comfortable. I remember back when players started to to do the dormant realms for the first time and when they have unlocked the maximum difficulty they did lose a lot of ships. I have seen a lot of very expensive ships uh, go down in the dormant realms. We are under attack. Basically real loss if you lose the ship here you have to use the IP to attack. recover it or you have to basically buy a new one we're under attack now the last two missions uh, they're basically missions where you can use capital ships the fourth one did have a bug where you Docking would get request kicked accepted. out of the game and you would not be able to log in and I have seen a lot of dreadnoughts and carriers uh, go down in the fourth mission. 
Now I haven't played the fourth one yet, although I did have a plan to do that. But uh, the the bug that was present did kind of prevent me from from actually trying it out because the chances for the bug occurring is 50%, I think. Sometimes you would start the mission and you would uh, come to the black screen, basically. Or not really sure if it was a black screen. Basically, Undocking. you you can't use the modules in the in the realm and you basically can't repair your ship. So you're just sitting there and uh, watching your dreadnought or carrier go down. So that's something that I don't want to experience. I already lost a bunch of ships <laughs> this week, so yeah, let's let's not go there for now. And here I spawned outside of the bubble again, right at the edge. We're under attack. So, so I think I'll just stay here to see what happens. Just out of curiosity. Am I going to be taking damage? Well, uh, we will find that out very, very soon. And of course, I'm also trying not to interfere with my teammates. Basically, I don't want to mess up and the story won't hurt by accident, so I usually try to stop shooting once the tower is somewhere around 50% armor or somewhere around very low armor, so that I can easily swip, switch to another target and then then go to the next tower. Oh, this is a very specialized build for uh, this exact mission. And so far I have to say it does work really well. I'm not really sure if they have changed We're the overview on the on this mission. I have to go back and uh, take a look at how it originally looked. So far I would say that this is a very chill mission. We're under attack. For the first time because I really did not know how uh, how this works. We're under now attack. once I got a hang of it, it's actually it's actually very really easy. It's actually very easy. And uh, I think we can easily farm this dormant realm doing this basically every week so we can obtain the implants we also can obtain the i think it's one of the higher tier boxes or i think it's actually the most expensive box i don't know how they're called but the box is basically for We're the completion rewards on the tier on the Tier 10 difficulty, or difficult 10, not really sure if it's classified as a tier difficulty, but, you know, the maximum difficulty. And I think that's a very nice thing. We can actually, if we are lucky, I believe we can obtain the level 45 implants. Now, I'm not going to use them. If I do obtain them, that's going straight on the market. The implants are currently going for a very crazy price, so if I do end up getting a tier 4 implant, we are I'm under attack. Going to sell that. Very nice, very nice way to make a lot of things. Although attack. it's also a very risky way, so I guess high risk and high reward. Still wish that the implants were, you know, a little bit more balanced and a little bit more reasonable, but Docking request I think accepted. we will get there with time. As implants get a lot more common, a lot more issues will rise and the developers will definitely notice those, those issues and it will be fixed. Now let's do another, another run. Undocking.
And I believe that there is a tactic like this for basically... For basically all of the dormant realms, with the exception of the last one. I wasn't really told that there was a tactic for the last one. We are under attack. I think the fourth one might be where you fight with the with the big sleeper ship. Not really sure if it's a dreadnought. Not really sure if uh, it's classified as a dreadnought. I remember seeing a lost mail, and when I clicked on the on the big sleeper ship in the in the lost mail. It, I think it was classified as a dreadnought, so the sleepers do have a dreadnought, which is a very interesting, interesting thing. We are under attack. Okay, let's focus on another tower. A very smooth tactic. Now, you could notice that my modules are still under cooldown. We're under attack. Even though the... The icon doesn't show the cooldown. So it's... I would say... Recommended to wait out for the modules to... To leave the cooldown before you jump through. Before you actually start the next mission. Just to maximize the efficiency and to achieve better results, better time results. If you have a cooldown when you start, then you might lose a couple seconds waiting for the cooldown. Not really sure if the time is really important. I think it is important because I believe that in order attack. to obtain the maximum valued boxes you basically have to clear the mission under we 30 under minutes attack. we clear the mission like four minutes so i think we are we're good we're good we are basically i'm very happy with the results because i'm doing this for the first time and for a first time i actually i think i'm doing really well basically what's important for me is not to slow down my team works. Three towers left. We are under attack. One tower left. And the last tower has been destroyed. 56 sleepers have spawned in. Yikes. Let's... Let's... Docking request accepted. That. That's a lot of sleepers. Well, I mean, can you blame them? We actually woke them up, so... I can understand why they are so angry. All right, well, that was a very, that was a very nice run with the dormant realms. Uh, I, I will try and clear the other ones as well, just to see how uh, that will work. So, uh, with that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Now, let me quickly open all the boxes just to see uh, what things we can get. Well, you can get a lot of, a lot of stuff, and some of these items can actually be very expensive. If you end up getting a general unit, they can be super expensive, basically over 10 billion if you are lucky, and all, all of that uh, can easily make your wallet uh, be very, very thick in the game. Well, then, with that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.